It's me, Courtney Lee, and we're inside Cool Cow Creamery, the ice cream shop in Kima, Texas, which is close to Houston. Let's have a look around. Hey, it's Courtney Lee. Sing a song along with me. Okay, so they have this awesome sign that says, be cool, eat ice cream, which I just love. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> all right, come over here. This is the big menu where they have all the flavors and all the different things that you can get here. You can get ice cream, you can get, let's see, a sundae, you can get even an ice cream sandwich. One of the things I love about Cool Cow is their skateboard flights. They have these fun skateboards in all different colors, and they put little miniature cones with a scoop of each kind of ice cream they have on top of it. This one is just pretend to show you, but it's so cool. Let's check out the flavors. Look, you guys, they have so many flavors of ice cream here. They have them all, and then you can look at the little card and it tells you what flavor. That one's Java Latte. Here's all the different sizes you can get. You can get a mini, a small, a medium, and a large. And there's some cool looking spoons so you can have a taste if you want to try a different kind of ice cream. And then check out over here, they have all of these toppings. <gasps> Sprinkles, my favorite. And they have a Texas size cookie or brownie bar. Texas size, if you're not from Texas, you've got to know, it means huge. And this is a huge cookie, if you can see that in there. And this is where you order your ice cream. And later, we're going to order an ice cream together. I can't wait to try it. Let's check out some more of the ice cream place. All right, you guys, this is Pat, and he owns Cool Cow Creamery, and he's gonna show us around on the inside of the kitchen. Let's go! We got to go inside the kitchen with Pat. He showed us that they have shelves up really high where they have all of their ingredients. Ingredients to make ice cream and their cookies and everything that goes in the ice cream as well. It was awesome, such a full kitchen. Then he showed us the ice cream maker. They put the liquid inside there and it spins around and freezes it at the same time. But I asked him, how do you make sure that the liquid doesn't come out? He said, you lock it up and then you pour the liquid inside this hopper. Then when the ice cream is ready, it comes out from a little door at the front, just like this. So awesome. Then Pat showed us inside they have refrigerators and freezers full of ice cream. This is the big freezer. They also have a blast freezer which freezes ice cream really quickly. Today we're making fudgy malted milk and cookies ice cream. So Pat takes the sweet cream base of the ice cream and then he pours in the malt. He mixes it for a long time with a giant whisk. When it's all mixed together, it's time to go into the ice cream machine. I have a little ice cream maker at my house. This is a really big one. Check it out, you guys. In it goes. All right, into the hopper. Whoa. There's so much of it. Oh my goodness. All right, and then he's gonna get, get, yeah. Get that spatula and gets all out. That's what I do when I make anything at home. Once the ice cream is all into the hopper and into the machine, Pat closes it up and presses the start button. Oh, look, you can see little mixing. It's kind of hard to see, but it's like moving in there. Here's the cookies and the fudge for later. We had to wait for 10 minutes while the ice cream finished mixing up. Then Pat started to open the hatch and let the ice cream pour out. Doesn't it look amazing? Then he closes it every once in a while and adds cookie crumble and fudge swirl. Then he layers more ice cream on top of that. That way, when you eat the ice cream, you get a little bit of cookies and fudge in each bite. More layering of the fudge and cookies right here.
and then more layering of the ice cream on top. It kind of reminds me of toothpaste, but way yummier. A little bit more cookie crumble and fudge swirl. And more ice cream on top of that. This batch of ice cream filled up almost two buckets full. Look at it! Doesn't it look amazing and delicious? You guys, look at that! Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I like that flavor too. My favorite is probably cookies and cream, but this one might be a second because it looks so delicious. When both batches of ice cream are done, Pat uses the spatula to mix it up a little bit more. Alright, dig in. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys! I like the fudge part. So I just gotta get more fudge. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. The spoons change color when they get cold. So first they're pink, and then I put them in and take it out. Now it's purple. Those are so cool. They're I cool. love these. I want these at home. <laughs> All right, so then you stick the lids on and then they go in the blast freezer. So cool to get it really cold, really fast so that it's frozen and ready for you to come get ice cream at Cold Cow Creamery. Okay, you guys, let's order some ice cream. I'm gonna try a few samples just because some of these flavors I've never had before. So let's see, can I get a sample of the Lucky Charm. Oh my goodness. Lucky Charm cereal ice cream. That sounds so good and so strange. I've never had that before. It's so good. <laughs> okay, can I try the cinnamon craze? I actually, I love cinnamon. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Wow, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna order an ice cream today, and I think I just wanna get a small cake cone of cinnamon craze. That was so good. Pat takes a scoop and puts a little bit of ice cream down in the bottom of the cone, so you get ice cream in every bite. Then a giant scoop to fill up the top of the cone. This looks so good. Come on, let's go pay for our ice cream. We paid for our ice cream. Now let's sing about Cool Cow Creamery. Be cool, eat ice cream, by the boardwalk, by the sea. Be cool, eat ice cream, a Cool Cow Creamery. Be cool, eat ice cream, by the boardwalk, by the sea. Be cool, eat ice cream. A cool cow creamery. Like and subscribe.